right, parents, welcome back. Uh, it's time to talk about babies and family, all that we do on the Mommy Daddy Handbook. So today we want to welcome Dr. Sean Donishman from Miracle Babies uh, to talk about epigenetics. This is really good, especially for the moms and dads. If you're pregnant or you're thinking about having a baby, you're going to want to know all this stuff. Dr. Donishman, good morning. Always Thank good you so to much. See good you. morning. It's always good to see okay, you. Okay, so what is, that's like a big word. You say epigenetics. What is that? So epi means on top, epigenetics. This is an important topic, Shally. I mean, this is something everyone should be thinking about, all our children should be thinking about so remember when the pink and blue come together when the sperm and the egg come together mm -hmm. it doesn't make purple it makes pink or blue you get a boy or girl okay that's how genes are also passed on from mom and dad a dominant gene is passed on for example for heart disease or for breast cancer or for Alzheimer's for Parkinson's we've all heard about you are what your parents ate and now what your grandparents have ate eaten Wow so basically what it is is the structure of the DNA when it comes to okay it's there but what we didn't know in these 30,000 genes is that you can turn on or off these genes and that's epigenetics based on your environmental influences now there's data from World War II that famine just being on 500 calories a day could lead to an increased risk for heart disease later on as an adult there's also if everyone can go on YouTube and just type in agouti mice and epigenetics agouti is basically just brown mice okay and what it is is you take identical uh, DNA uh, mice okay. that are basically brown and heavy and die and you know very early because of disease and you just feed these mothers different types of food one gets the regular rat food okay. the other one gets food that's fortified with a lot of you know methylated right like folate, the fruits and the vegetables everything that they tell and us to eat. Okay. and what happens is the offsprings are totally different wow. one that's been fed green stuff comes out you know uh, dark coat color and very lean and does not get disease and the other one like the other ones like the mother okay so we've heard it with the mamas all the time to take care of your bodies eat well rest like all the things that we see here on the table what are you learning now more and more the studies that are coming out the medical research that yes. parents are like especially mothers they really have a control how their babies are going to turn out? These nine months are crucial, you guys. As an obstetrician, I'm, we're just beginning to learn about these stuff. When the Human Genome Project completed in 2003 by uh, Craig Venter, we all thought that, you know, first of all, we just found out there are only about 30,000 genes. We've got probably less genes than plants do. But we didn't know that, oh my goodness, you know, we thought that we're going to have a clue as to who's going to have what sort of illness, how can we treat it, mm -hmm. but it doesn't work out that way. Okay. Again, because of environment. So simple, go back to the basics sense things that make sense s-e-n-s-e -S -E. okay sleep okay I could do that right be now, active <laughs> exercise okay okay if you're obstetric exercise is important okay? okay and for nutrition make sure just basic stuff organic non-gmo healthy greens take a lot of greens and juice for yourself with greens just healthy food right and as for stress, reduce your stress. We know that unfortunately mental Come health on, plays Dr. an important part. Come on, Dr. D, you're part. talking about pregnant mamas. You're telling them to reduce stress? Exactly. Well, you know what? We're it, these are these are tough times, but make sure you just write things down, meditate, exercising. All these things help. Sleep helps with stress reduction. And last but not least is positive emotions. You know, we know that you know this is one unit, Shelly. Yes. I always tell my patients one unit. Think of it as at a cellular level. Okay. If you're not well here, you're not going to be, be well, well here, here, and vice versa. Okay, uh, Doctor D, you do amazing things with Miracle Babies. Uh, before we let you go, you're having your big gala uh, this week. I'm so excited. I'm going to be coming. Thank you so much. I'm we're excited there. to have you. So I think there's just a few tickets left if you want to come out. Uh, it's this Saturday, uh, and we got the information. You can get hooked yeah, up with Mon Miracle. Yeah, at where? Mon uh, Grand Del Mar. Grand Del Mar. And, uh, and we'll an put exciting the ticket night. information up on fox5sandiego.com for you. you got to think about it. See, Miss Foxy Fox. Shelly, did you learn anything about that little baby that's in your tummy? All sorts of things. Oh, good, 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 good. All, All right, right. Shelly, thank you. Coming up, the competition is on.